Here's a question um, from someone. You mentioned that you'd seen a couple of extraterrestrials. Uh, well, um, yes, um, indeed. And of course, uh, I've lived a very long time and I come from a time when nobody cared about ETs or UFOs. But of course, in, uh, in this dawning of this age of Aquarius that we're coming into, Aquarius does rule um, off-planet beings. Um, it rules anything weird and um, out there and on the fringe. So that's, and anything to do with what travels through the air as well. It rules outer space, it rules spaceships. But yes, I have. Um, and totally unlooked for, you know, I've spent, uh, I spent about 30 years working mostly outside um, through, you know, the teeth of icy winds in winter and the searing uh, heat of the sun in, in summer on boats all across Europe. And um, being outside so much, you know, you're in very close touch with nature and um, um, the first occasion was uh, actually when, was when I was on a train, uh, a very just sort of small branch line train and um, sort of chugging along. Actually there's a whole radio interview uh, of, of, of that experience so um, I, I did actually see a, a, a UFO through the window of the train um, and it was on the ground as well and there was this perfect rainbow right around it uh, just just a mini rainbow, you know, and it was about, oh, I don't know, 100 yards away? To, it was really close, it was just in a field, you know, on the other, on the embankment, there was the rail, the embankment, the field. And other people on the train saw it, and that was way, way back in the early 70s, you know. Um, but there is a radio interview, so I might um, get a link um, stuck down on, on, a, on a strip stuck down on the bottom of this video so you can if, if you want to hear about that. Um, the second time uh, was caught years and years and years later uh, in France and I was driving some people home late at night it was November the 5th I think um, about 1989 somewhere there and uh, we were, you know, in, in um, uh, the countryside, uh, it was dark, there was no light pollution, it was just in the, in the deep sort of ancient part of France where there's no street lights, we were on country road. And I was driving this van and I just looked out through the window on the right hand side and I just thought, oh, there's the radio mast. And then I thought, no, hang on a minute, that's, there's no radio mast there. Foot on brake, clutch, stop, look. And it's in inky blackness, you understand. And what I thought was something that was upright in the blackness, it just looked like a kind of um, a string of lights going out in a triangular shape. I just thought it was up. It wasn't, it was coming that way. And I, and I looked and I saw um, there was, um, let me see, was there a white light on the front and red lights down the side or a red light on the front and white lights down the side, but a big red light or, I think there's a big white light on the front. And um, I turned, I switched off the ignition and I said to my passengers, what is that? And uh, I had an Aquarian and a Taurian in the car. <laughs> the Taurian said, don't know, uh, probably nothing. And the Aquarian said, well, obviously, it's a satellite breaking up in the atmosphere. And I said, no, can't be. Look at it. It's, it's steadily coming this way, and it's lights in a triangular shape. So I said, I'm getting out. I think this might be on the radio interview as well. So anyway, and um, we, we all got up, stood in the road like the three wise men, and this huge thing, like a, like, a, like a whale. I mean, like the biggest whale, like a huge megalithic mammoth whale came over the top of us totally totally silent and you could just feel it cutting through the air and I mean it was as low as a helicopter you know it was really low and it was huge and um, I was just went absolutely cold um, all the hairs stood up on the back of my neck it wasn't a bad feeling though because it was like I was kind of going Wow, that's beautiful. 
because it was and then we just stood there it didn't alter its speed <clears throat> and it just slowly was stood there oh, I don't know difficult to say I didn't have a watch or a clock or anything you know it could have been five minutes it could have been 15 it could have been an hour we might have even been taken up onto it I don't know but anyway it seemed to just go over and then slowly 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 its trajectory slowly and nobody spoke not even the Aquarian you know uh, and uh, disappeared and and we just almost like dumbstruck got back into the into the into the van and kind of drove on and just after a few minutes it was like well, what do you spell well it's the satellite breaking up and the atmosphere anyway the next morning it was in all the newspapers and actually now you can look it up in you know it was great UFO sightings of the 80s or something like that well we we actually stood underneath it so and I have actually met in um, an extraterrestrial being as well in a very mundane place and that's a very very long story but he was humanoid looking um, the thing was he was very very small he was about the same height as I am sitting in a chair um, and uh, yeah that is a long story but the most deep piercing wise blue eyes I have ever looked into and he told me lots of interesting things and my life was never the same afterwards and that was when I was 24 so there we go um, yeah I'll see if I can get a link to the radio uh, interview put down uh, uh, on the bottom of the frame here thank you very much uh, for your question.